Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here, and it's time for some coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for another day. I thank the Lord for uh, another Sunday in which we can uh, gather together and worship together. Uh, hallelujah. In one spirit and in one mind. Hallelujah. Serving our one true God. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for uh, all that he's done, all that he'll continue to do. <clears throat> and we'll, uh, we'll give him thanks and praise right now. As we go to him and his word and say, Father, in Jesus' name, I just pray that you would open our eyes and ears, help us to see and hear the truth, understand it, and apply it to our life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for King David and uh, the Psalms that he wrote uh, while he was on the run in fear of his life. Um, and so we thank you and praise you, Father God, for uh, um, teaching us to call upon you uh, when things are bad. Um, and, uh, Lord God, my prayer is that, uh, we would continue to call upon you, uh, when things are good, give you praise, give you thanks for everything because you are an awesome God and you're worthy of our praise. Bless us. Now we pray in Jesus name. Amen. I hope you said amen. We're in Psalm 119 and we're going to go through verses 97 through 104, 97 through 104. And it reads, Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from evil, from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for his word. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, um, I'm thankful for uh, his word every day. I'm thankful for uh, the love that I have for his word. I was just telling someone last night how much I love the word of God. I love reading the word. I'm so hungry for the word. Even today, after 34 years of in-depth study, I still hunger for the word of God. I hope that's... Um, the same for you. I hope that you have a hunger for God's word. So let's look at his word right now and see what we see. Um, he says, oh, how I love thy law. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Amen. And we are called to meditate on his word. Psalm 1. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17, uh, uh, 5 through 8. Uh, the, the product of a, a well-watered tree or vine, the produce. Hallelujah comes from a well-watered tree or vine, and, and that's uh, um, someone that's rooted in the Word of God and, and just satisfied by the river of life hallelujah, that we find here in the Scriptures. Amen? So um, my prayer is that your hunger for the Word will grow and that you'll meditate on it all the day. That doesn't mean that we walk around um, with a Bible in our face 24-7. That means that when you read the Word, you meditate on it, you think about it, think about what it says, and ask the Lord to help you to apply it to your life today. Well, how can I apply this to my life today? Hallelujah. Well, open up the Word of God, read it, and then think about it. Amen? Hallelujah. Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. Amen. The word of God will make you wiser than your enemy, the enemy of your soul, which is Satan. But uh, uh, people would make themselves your enemy be just because you're a Christian, just because you preach Jesus, speak out against homosexuality and against uh, homosexual marriages and abortion. And you speak out against these things that we should speak out against. We should be preaching the word and teaching the word. So you're going to have enemies. God's going to make you wiser than your enemies through his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Through his word. I have more understanding than all my teachers, 
for thy testimonies are my meditation. Now you see a combination of the two verse first two verses where now you see not only does the word make you give you more understanding, make you wiser, right? But he does so right through meditation, through memorization, through constantly considering all day long what the word of God has to say. Amen. 100, he says, I understand more than my ancients, more than the ancients, the elderly, all right, those uh, Jewish sage, uh, pharisaical teachers that sit at the, the, the footstep of the synagogue waiting for somebody to walk by and just ask them a question, you know, and, and they just love it. They love it. Um, we should uh, be so in tune with the Word of God by meditating on the Word of God every day, all day long, thinking about the things of God. And the Word of God gives you understanding more than the ancients, more than those that have lived it twice as long. I mean, there are people that, you know, we are to respect those that are elderly in the church, of course, but we also understand that the Word of God is wiser than any, any, any human being. Always, always, always the Word of God and give God praise and let the people know that it's the Word of God. It's not you. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Amen. Hallelujah. It's pretty straightforward. Is it not? I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 102. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not going to fall away in these last days because the Lord is your teacher. Um, the warning in Scripture that uh, there will be a great falling away um, yes, there will be, but uh, it's going to be those that are not truly saved, because those that are truly saved could never turn away from Christ to another religion. That great falling away may very well be uh, a, a, a turning to Islam. Hallelujah. I'll never do it. Thank the Lord for his grace and mercy. I'll never do it. Hallelujah. How sweet are thy words. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Uh, we just got a gift from um, a young couple in Hawaii, and uh, they gave us um, a little bottle of honey. They just wanted to say thank you for their Bibles. And so not necessary. You don't have to send me anything when we send you a Bible. Um, we send it to you because we love you, and that's what the Word of God, the Lord, has taught us to do. So um, he moves us, and, and uh, we're thankful, though. We're thankful for the gift um, because on the label um, of the honey, it had Psalm 119, verse 103. <laughs> Hallelujah. How sweet are thy words to my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Is the Word of God that sweet to you? Um, hallelujah. Is it uh, um, uh, so satisfying to you that you just can't wait to take it in and, and you love it while you're in it? And my wife and I are reading through um, 1 Samuel right now, and uh, it's just like the best novel that you've ever read. It's so riveting, and it's like you can't help but just keep reading and next thing we know, we're three, four chapters in, and instead of taking a month to go through the book of Samuel, you know, we're, you know, almost done with it. Um, but it's awesome. God is so good. The lessons that you learn, the life lessons that you learn from King David and his life um, are phenomenal. Thank the Lord for the lessons that we learn, because through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Hate? Oh, yeah. We are supposed to. Ye that love the Lord, David said, hate evil. We're supposed to hate evil. We're supposed to love the Lord so much that we hate the evil that's around us. Amen? So um, <clears throat> my prayer is that you'll get into the Word of God and you'll read it today 
And of course, uh, hopefully you'll be in church and you'll be with other believers. Uh, you're welcome to come and join us online um, at 11 a.m. this morning. We'll be live. So uh, yes, keep us in prayer. We'll keep you in prayer. And uh, I hope and pray that you'll come back again when we can share more coffee with the scriptures. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great Lord's Day in Jesus' name.